Geoproducts Envirogrid Road Driveway Installation Guide. The equipment needed to install the Envirogrid is the following. A non-woven geotextile, six or eight ounce, your infill material, a crush aggregate, such as a number 57 stone, limestone, decomposed granite, or recycled concrete, a panel attachment method, such as the Envirolox, a hand stapler, a pneumatic stapler. The pneumatic stapler does require a compressor and a generator. A four pound hammer, a utility knife. This is recommended with a hook blade, string line, measuring tape, shovel, and personal protective equipment, such as safety glasses. An installation crew is comprised of three laborers. A larger crew will help with a faster installation. Step number one, subgrade preparation. Subgrade needs to be prepared per the project engineer specification based on depth, grade, and compaction. The Envirogrid GeoCell is a flexible system, so it will follow the subgrade profile. Any imperfection on the subbase will show on the Envirogrid layer. Installing Geotextile. If required, once a subgrade is prepared, a non-woven geotextile fabric is installed. The geotextile is used as a separator to prevent the Envirogrid infill material from migrating into a softer subgrade. The geotextile is easy to install, just unroll directly over the soil and overlap if needed. Expanding Envirogrid. The panel expansion of the EGA20 Envirogrid GeoCell is nine foot by 20 foot, giving you 180 square feet of total area. The panels can be expanded along the length of the road or across the width of the road based on the geometry of the area. The panels can also be easily cut with a utility knife to fit the desired area. To increase installation rates, the panels can be joined together prior to expansion. This can double, triple, or quadruple your covered area at every deployment. Please keep in mind that the more panels that are joined, the larger crew needed for deployment. It is best at the beginning to expand the single panel to get a basic understanding of how the panels are deployed. Joining of Envirogrid. Adjacent panels can be joined with a hand stapler. This is typically done for the three inch and four inch cell death material. You can also use the Envirolax for the three, four, six, and eight inch material. The Envirolax are easy to install. For larger jobs, a pneumatic stapler and staples is recommended. This does require a small compressor and a generator. Anchoring Envirogrid. Panel anchoring method. You can use any of the following tools to anchor the Envirogrid panels. Rebar J-hooks, rebar straight stakes, Enviroclip helical anchors, sandbags, or wood stakes. Filling Envirogrid. Infill material. Typical infill material is a crushed aggregate, such as at number 57 stone, limestone, decomposed granite, or recycled concrete. The rock size should be no larger than one third the depth of the cell. For example, for a three inch Envirogrid, no larger than one inch. Rock should contain smaller rocks as well to help the interlock of the aggregate. Rocks should not 
all be the same size. Do not fill the cells with pea gravel or any other rounded rock. Once the panels are staked in place, you can now start filling the cells. And when the panels are filled, the stakes or sandbags can be pulled out and reused for other panels. Never drive equipment over empty cells. After the cells have been filled, a roller can be used to get the desired compaction. If a roller is not available, traffic over the fill cells will also compact the fill material. 